Well, welcome to our last video in this sequence on the divergence theorem. So we saw in the previous video, well, we saw in the first video that the net flux rate due to flow through, through a volume of interest is equal to this integral over the whole surface of that volume of the flux rate at each point dotted with the outward pointing normal to the surface but in integrating that over the whole surface. So that's the net flux rate out through the surface. And then when we examined an infinitesimal volume, a very small volume that was sort of oriented conveniently with the, the axes of our coordinate system, we saw actually that terms cancel out and that leads to the, the net mass flux rate due to the flow is also equal to the integral over the volume of the divergence of that flux rate. So this is an important relationship. Now we can actually write a direct equivalence between these two. So I can write that the integral over the surface of rho v dotted with the outward normal over the surface is equal to the integral over the volume of the divergence of that flux rate at each point within the volume dv. So this allows us to interpret the divergence, the, mean, the physical meaning of the divergence as the net outflow rate per unit volume of whatever our flux field is. So here we've defined our flux field as this concentration rho times the flow velocity. But taking these two together, we could actually define a flux field A as this scalar concentration times the velocity. So in general, our flux field could just be some vector field A, and that allows us to write a more general expression. So this is what we most properly call the divergence theorem, or in older texts, you might see it referred to as Gauss's law related to the fact that Gauss was one of the first to observe this equivalence. So the divergence theorem is equal to, well, it's stated as the integral over a surface of some vector field A dotted with the outward normal to that surface dS is equal to the integral over the volume of the divergence of A dV. So now we have a physical interpretation of what the divergence that we spoke about in our previous set of videos about the vector operator, what does the divergence actually mean? This is a really important result. To give you an idea of the power of that result, let's look back to our mass balance equation. Now that we know this equivalence, we can actually replace this surface integral on the left-hand side with this volume integral. So that's easy to do. I can just erase it out here and make that replacement. So I can replace that surface integral, which was there previously, with the integral over the volume of the divergence of rho v 
That's our vector field in this case. We define A as rho V, B, V. So previously we had one surface integral and two volume integrals. So we had to evaluate it in the integral form. But now what the divergence theorem has allowed us to do is write it as three volume integrals. So if we imagine that volume of interest shrinks down to an infinitesimal size, we can actually just dispense with the integrations and say that the divergence of rho v at a point is equal to the negative of any source term at that point minus the rate of change of concentration at that point. So this is now the differential form of the mass balance equation. The previous one was the integral form, and this form is the differential form. So which one is more convenient to use depends on the type of problem that we're solving. In certain types of problems, we might want to write our solution procedure in terms of the integral form. In other cases, we may have a situation where we can actually solve it in differential form at a point. It just depends on the problem. The point is that the divergence theorem gives us options. We now have different ways that we can approach the problem depending on the situation. So that's the conclusion of this sequence on the divergence theorem. It's one of the most important theorems in vector calculus, and we'll be using it in our development of theorems in geophysics. Thank you.